Hey y'all, it is your girl Glitter Mama, and today I'm gonna be doing something completely out of the norm for me, especially on my channel. And that is, I'm gonna talk about my paranormal experience. And I'm thinking maybe doing a few of these here and there. This is just gonna be like a story time of uh, experiences that I've had with um, the abnormalness of life, basically, that you would have called paranormal. But anyway, whatever. So this first one is going to be the very first um, kind of paranormal experience I guess I ever ever had which was like right after my papa died. Now I was very close to my papa just to let you guys know. Like I was a papa's girl um, like he would take me places with him you know like I was always around like <laughs> literally like I was the apple of his eye like he I was important basically because he had two boys and he never had a girl so when i came along i was the first granddaughter so obviously it was spoil city for this chick to, for this chick you know because i was the first girl basically um and i and at this time i my my dad um my you know my dad was married to my mom and they had me and my uncle at the time he didn't have any kids either he just had um stepsons so when i came along everybody was like oh my god like let's just spoil this little girl because you know it was the first girl literally like i think my like papa came from my i think like three boys or four boys or something like that so yeah no there's no recollection of it I mean, like, there's not a lot of girls that hit the family. Uh, and even today, like, I'm the only girl out of three. Uh, I'm the only, I'm the oldest and the only girl um, out of three kids. So I have two younger brothers. Um, my daughter, on the other hand, she's basically, you know, obviously broke the mold there. Um, so when I was born, you know, my nanny and my my papa just spoiled me it was so bad and I didn't get that opportunity on my mom's side because like like my mom and papa had eight kids and then their kids was having kids and it was just you know what I'm saying it was already happening on that side basically so um the particular night that my papa had died, I had just had this weird feeling that something bad was going to happen. So I wanted to go with him out to eat. And he always went to this restaurant every night. It was called Ryan's. If you have a Ryan's, holla. You know what I'm saying? I We still have one. We have one in our city, in, in my city. But we have to drive like 15 minutes to go if we ever wanted to eat there. Um, so anyway, um... We went to eat, me and my mom. Like, I had a temper tantrum. I remember that part. And then that night, my papa had passed away. And I just had this weird feeling something bad was going to happen to me that was going to change me. And my papa. You know what I'm saying? So, when my papa passed away, I never, I didn't really understand what was going on. I never did. I just thought, well, maybe my papa was just sleeping. You know? Um, and I remember... Um, the funeral. Um, I only remember bits and pieces. Like, I remember, like, we were all lined up. Like, all of the family. Like, the Kohler's family. And we had roses. And, like, all... Everybody, like, put their rose on the casket. But my grandmother wanted me to lay mine on his heart. And... I couldn't do it. Like, I just threw it down. And I just took off running and crying. And I don't remember, like... I remember dropping it and taking off but I don't remember what happened I don't know remember how like my mom called me down or anything like that my mom even told me that I had a panic attack too so it's like my first time that I you know had a panic attack too so you know of course she had to like you know keep me in control because like my, my dad and my my uncle and my grandmother were all focusing on like you know because they were obviously closer in blood than me um so you know, everybody went back to my grandmother's house. We ate and they paid their condolences to us and then everybody left. And my dad and my uncle and my aunt all went somewhere. I can't remember where they went to. They just left. And so it was just me, my mom, 
who at the time was pregnant with my brother, my brother Matthew, which you see him a lot on video, on, on you know, video. And they were, my grandmother went down to, I think she laid down or something, or I don't remember what happened, but she wasn't helping my mom. And my mom was, you know, cleaning up the, you know, the kitchen and everything afterwards and everything else. And I was in here sitting in his chair. And at the time the TV was over here, but the TV wasn't on. And, um, basically the chair was sitting in front of the door and the door is a big metal door and was locked. And then there's like a glass see-through door. Obviously this glass is see-through and it was locked. Well, next thing you know, I hear like some jiggling, like, like the doorknob jiggling and I'm thinking, Oh, my dad's home. You know what I mean? So I'm like looking over, you know, to the door, like curious and it like unlocks because my dad had a key to the house. Like my dad and my uncle has a key to my grandma's house. And the little knob turned and the door opened. Nobody was there. And I'm like, like I'm fucking seven, okay? So I'm a little like freaked out at this point. And it opens and then the screen door unlocks. Like you can hear somebody, like somebody's trying to unlock it. You know what I mean? And then the hand, like, the handle goes and it opens and then this door the metal door is shutting as the clear door is opening so I kind of feel like he was there my pet ball like he was just like he was just like in there like his spirit was there like I, you know what I'm saying and he basically left because uh, like he left the house because he was he knows that we're all going to be okay and yes it's going to take time but we're going to eventually just move on with our lives and we're going to have a good life even if he's not there and he's okay with that um and you know it was kind of like I was weirded about it you know like I was really weird about it weirded out about it but at the same time it was kind of like a like a relief like a calm like I can't really describe what I was feeling because I was weird out but then at the same time <laughs> you know like I was calm about it and I mean I didn't like freak out and scream or anything I just sat there and like in his in his chair and like I just stared at the door I remember staring at the door and I never have told anybody this. I've never told like my grandmother. I never told my mom and never told nobody um, about this. So you guys are really like the first people because like if I told my mom or if I told my grandmother, they wouldn't believe me. Like they'd be like, whatever. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like you guys on the other hand will because like my grandmother, she's very religious and she just doesn't believe in like spirits like lingering, you know what I'm saying? And I'm religious too, but I kind of believe that there are some spirits that have, you know, unfinished business or they come down from time to time because they miss their loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, it's normal. You know what I'm saying? It's something normal. It's the norm basically. So yeah. Um, and, and I mean, I know he's around. I always know when he visits, I can feel him, you know, and I'll talk about that in another video if you're interested but i i really felt him that it was him because obviously it i mean he just died you know what i mean and i just knew it was him because why would that happen and nobody was there nobody was in the door i didn't see nobody on the front porch like literally after like like i was frozen for a while um not really frozen but like you know what i'm saying like nobody was outside like i'm telling you for real um it just was, I know you guys are probably not going to believe me. Like, you know, you want, you want proof on it, but I can't really like be like, yeah, such and such was here. You know what I'm saying? And like have proof on that because like I was the only person that saw it. You know what I'm saying? And I think my papa just allowed only me to see him leave because he wanted to, I think it was also him telling me like, you know, you're going to be okay. Like that's why I'm leaving. I know you're going to be okay. And that he's always going to be around no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if we don't feel him or, or we don't, 
you know what I'm saying? We don't feel him or anything like that. He's always going to be around to protect us and to watch over us and be our guardian angel. You know what I'm saying? And I believe in guardian angels. And he's not a ghost. He's, I mean, like, I feel like he's a, I kind of feel like he's just a spirit, but he's not a ghost. Like, he's not, you know, like, to me, ghosts linger because they can't move on. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, spirits, on the other hand, they can move on, go back to heaven or upstairs up wherever you guys believe and then they come down from time to time to visit their loved ones because they miss them or they feel like you know what i mean like we need their presence around you know what i mean so yeah so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these paranormal experiences i don't have many but i do have a few let me know down in the comment section like this video whatever you feel like doing um and don't forget to subscribe because i will hopefully post up some more down the road and i'll talk more about other experiences i've got a few of them one's a really freaky freaky one so yeah so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye